Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elder, and you already know how we get down. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with hugs, loves, and kisses. Mwah! Now go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell. And now you my cousin. You already know how we get down, baby. And if you have been rocking with your girl and you a subby baby, listen, you already know we be like Welcome back. Back. A hey, back, back, a hey, back, a hey. you already know, baby. Welcome back, y'all. Listen, you guys, I am super, super, super excited. As you guys can see, I have finally left y'all. Y'all remember a couple of vlogs ago when I was with old girl and I was just like, it's time to go. I love my mama. I do love my mama. I do. But I had to go, y'all. I had to go. Okay? Ain't nothing like your own. But yes, officially, um, I moved in. I've been here a week, you guys. A whole week. A whole week. Okay? And I am loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So, um, just to give you guys an update, um, I've been here a week, um, I'm loving it, at peace, um, my daughter is really enjoying her room, her own space, um, uh, at first, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I was a little skeptical about, you know, stepping out, moving out, especially not having the income that I used to have once upon a time. Um, coming in and as you guys know in South Florida it is expensive and overrated for no reason okay overrated for no reason but by the grace of God um, I know that the Lord will sustain me and you know I just got to do my part and just continue to depend and lean on God uh, because he's truly a Jehovah Jireh for me um, the house is not yet furnished uh, because if you once again if you for those of you that doesn't know my backstory um, when I got married got a divorce and when I decided to move back home here to South Florida I left everything left bed living room kitchen I left everything I left everything I only came back with me and my daughter clothes and um, my inventory for event planning okay so yeah and that's all i came back with so basically i am in my tvs yes my tvs so basically at this point i am starting completely over and i had some um i had some i did a amazon um apartment warming so some of my family and friends has been coming through like i got my first blender i got my first toaster don't judge me judge your big toe yeah you heard me my first blender y'all i've been on my own since i was 18 and at the age of 31 i now have my first blender and my first toaster so um so yeah i have an amazon um apartment warming uh apartment warming um registry from amazon um uh, it's in the description box below if if you feel lit you know but um yeah so that's how i've been able to get some stuff and then um i had a friend who did bless me uh, financially and i was able to get a lot of things so my daughter um I was able to finally order my daughter's bed and her mattress so that, you know, she can get back in her bed. I just have a king size mattress in the box ring. I need to get a, um, I need to get a bed frame and headboard and frame for it. And, you know, I need, I need to get a couch. I need to get <laughs> dining table. Um, you know, just everything, everything, you name it, I probably need it, but to God be all the glory, I'm able to, I'm sustained. 
I'm sustained. But I'm loving it. It's very peaceful. It's very quiet. Those pe um, people that have chilled with me in the past, they know how I operate in my home. Because, listen, your home is your your sanctuary, okay? It's your, it's your getaway from the world. It's your getaway from everything. So, I strive to make my home very peaceful, very quiet, and cold. Cold, y'all. Yes, it's like 68 degrees in my house. Period. So, and yeah, there ain't no shoes in my house. At the, be at the front door, there's a basket of socks. Leave your shoes at the front door or your sandals. And if you ain't got on no socks, you can feel free to grab a sock out of the basket. Okay? That's it. Complimentary socks. Okay? So, yeah. But you guys, I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys the furnished apartment. Uh, tour the color scheme is black white and gold my daughter room is going to be gray navy blue and pink with hints of purple that's what she said she wanted y'all so i'm going to honor her request um yeah i'm loving it you guys i'm i can't even explain how i feel i just feel better like you know um i feel more at peace um uh, more a little bit more balance and definitely stability because you know and i'm able to grab a grip of my daughter without the interference of grandparents okay because my mother spoils her if i say no ice cream then she's going to call my daughter and they're going to be sitting on the other side of the bed on the floor eating ice cream hiding from me. But, um, so I love my mom. I do. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah. If I can tell you anything is don't be scared. Stepping out on faith is never easy. Especially when you can't physically see it or you don't see physically see or unable to detect the strategy on how it will be done but this is why God is truly a way maker a miracle worker and a promise keeper but I, I, I know one thing's for sure when you do step out when you finally make that decision to step out listen and especially if God has been giving you unction after unction after unction to step out listen he's already made provision it's a matter of leaning not on your own understanding but leaning on him letting him be your complete dependency be on him and know and know that you know that you know that he got you all right is it easy no it's not but i'm gonna take you guys through this journey with me because i'm creating the lifestyle that I desire to live. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the place where I want to, I desire to break these generational curses. I desire to break these cycles. Okay. Um, I don't want to get to that limit, that society place when my God is bigger and my God is greater. When God has given us the power to get wealth. Um, you know, and it requires you moving different. And let me tell you, it's okay. Even if you feel like the black sheep, even if you feel left out, even if you feel alone, just know that it's not easy. But when you desire to set a momentum or you desire to set a, a trend for the generations to come, the uh, those that will come from your loins, your legacy you you want to set that standard so you got to move different and you got to be okay with it and it is it once again is it easy no it's not but it's how bad you want it and how bad you want to elevate how bad you want to increase how bad you want to break these generational curses how bad you want to break these cycles because when you tired you truly do something about it you truly do something about it and you know, I'm not even letting depression get in my way. Like, you know, I've been shut down for a couple of weeks. Like, I just checked out. But you know what? I, I It's a choice. And I, and like I said, I'm not letting depression stop me. I'm not letting the naysayer stop me. Is If I could see it, I could obtain it. 
If I can see it, then I can touch it. If I can see it, I can manifest it. Period. Because I serve a great God. And he said to call these things that be not as though they were. So, y'all already know. But, I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, at the end of the day, boo, you got victory on every side. See you next vlog.